hello hello and welcome to another monday's live stream if you are watching please do say hello in the chat tell us who you are what you're up to today today i'm going to be sharing top 10 top ideas for social media videos so if you are watching please do give us a thumbs up say hello and who you are uh, we'd love to see and hear who's watching today's live stream so video is becoming so so important now on social media and yet sometimes we can get a little bit overwhelmed as to what type of videos we should do and also a little bit nervous about doing videos ourselves um, so today i just thought i would show showcase 10 video ideas to help you get some creative juice flowing when it comes to creating your social media videos. So I'm Bex from Social Media Executive. For those that don't know, we're just waiting for a few more people to join the live stream. So while we're waiting, please do say hello in the comments. I'll give you a shout out. Tell us what business you do. Feel free to uh, say who you are. So I'm Bex from Social Media Executive. And today I'm going to be sharing 10 ideas for your social media videos because social media videos are becoming phenomenally important but we as businesses often shy away from these videos because we can feel a bit nervous we're not sure what to post and it can be a bit overwhelming so today i thought i'd share 10 ideas for some really really simple social media posts Oh, hello, everyone. And again, if you are watching, please do say hello and things like that. Um, hi, Nelson. Thanks for saying hello. And if you're watching on Facebook, please do uh, tell me who you are. Hello. Hello. Because it only comes up as Facebook user on StreamYard. So social media videos are becoming phenomenally important. We've had the likes of TikTok that has just taken over the social media world when it comes to videos. Now, Social Shepherd has said that literally are on average 84 minutes a day, people are consuming video content. And according to Inside Intelligence, 75% of people now watch videos on their mobile phones. So if you're a company and you are not creating videos for your social media, you really are missing out on a trick, particularly now that Facebook and Instagram are really trying to compete with TikTok and trying, you know, have introduced Facebook Reels, Instagram Reels, and they're really promoting these. So if you create Reels, you're probably going to get a higher reach than a normal static post. So today I'm going to share with you some ideas, and these are really, really simple ideas. I'm not talking about over editing, and I'm going to save the easiest ones to to the end. We're talking about short, simple video ideas today that anyone can do just on their phones. Really, really simple. Oh, hi, Claire. Hello. Thanks for saying hello. Again, if you are watching, please feel free. Ask any questions in the chat and tell us tell us who you are and what you do. And excuse me, <clears throat> I've got a bit of a tickly throat today. OK, so my first idea then for a social media video is do a little product feature. So if you sell products, then do a little video and talk about the particular products of your particular features of your product. So, for example, I sell the special days of the year wall planner here in the background. And again, it lists a, an awareness day for every day of the year to try and encourage social media content inspiration. So I do look quite a lot of videos of these at this time of year, talking people through why it's valuable, it's paper based, you can write on it, highlight days that are relevant to your business. And I talk about their features and that does phenomenally well. Likewise, if you've got a service, talk about your service. Okay, just talk about the service. How does it help your customers? What, what has it achieved? You know, what are the unique features about it that can really appeal to your target market? So that's the first idea then, talk about your products and services. Now, we're not always all confident about being in front of the camera. So you don't have to be in front of the camera. And actually, the social flock, which is my social media support group, 
was 12 months old last month. So I actually did a video, but it was an anniversary video and it was just static images that I put together. You can put them together if you use Canva or if you, you know, put them together, create them on a reel very, very easily or pop them on TikTok. You can just basically download lots and lots of different images and it creates and create it into a video. So your video can be created with lots of static images. And in this case, I just did a video of Barbara, who we can see in the background here, Barbara. She's the mascot for the social flock. And it was just lots of pictures of her out and about throughout the year meeting lots of people. So think about just a load of images to create a video and they do really well. Um, the other thing that you can do is event updates. If you are host, hosting an event or even if you're going to an event, then you could do a video talking about the event that you're going to. If that event was last year, you could talk about and share some of the features of last year's event and build up the momentum and the excitement of an upcoming video for the event that's happening in the future. So again, just little videos talking about what's happening at the event, who might be speaking, you know, who's going, that sort of thing can create a really nice buzz around your event and just give you, give your viewers that little bit of an insight of what they might expect at the event and build up that excitement more importantly, okay? So the fourth idea then that I've got is a video competition, particularly as we are approaching lots of holidays coming up. We've got uh, we've got Halloween coming up. We've got Guy Fawkes. We've got Christmas. We've got Thanksgiving. We've got loads of holiday time coming up now in the autumn. So run little competitions and the simplest ones are the best. Maybe you've just got a little giveaway. Maybe it's just a bar of chocolate. I know when I've launched um, the social flock, I just gave away little bits, little chocolate sheep. Again, just sharing a video to say, oh, would you like to win one of these chocolates? You know, and then do that call to action. You can just ask people to say, maybe name that sheep. So when I launched the social flock, I ran a competition to name that sheep, name the mascot from our sheep. So again, you can do little competitions that are really quite simple. And all you can do under the videos, you can just say, place your entries in the comments in the video below. And this will also help increase the reach of your video because people are commenting on your video. So running really, really simple video competitions can be really quite effective and it doesn't need to cost you much money either. A very small prize will do. OK, so again, if you've got ideas of videos as well, place them in the comments or let us know any good videos that you've done or seen. Do place them in the comments. So the fifth idea then that I've got is interview an expert. You will quite often see me on a Monday during these live streams interviewing an expert. We have had a few experts recently. Um, we have Jonathan um, the other week who was talking about the three rules of Google and how to get seen on Google. Um, I've got some um, search engine optimization experts coming next week. I've got Sam Blakely, who's a digital marketer and brand expert. So I invite them along as a guest to talk about their expertise, because if it's going to add value to your audience, then it's a great idea to bring someone on and it saves you thinking about what you need to talk about. So that's a really good idea. You could even interview a supplier, maybe, who supplies some great services or goods to your business. So it doesn't matter who it is, but do a, an interview from an industry expert. So the sixth idea, then, is interview a happy customer whilst we're on the theme of happy customers. So, you know, we're not always wanting to be in front of the camera. So why don't you ask a happy customer if they wouldn't mind leaving in a review? So you could just literally record them leaving a really nice review about a service or a product they've had from your business. This really massively helps to build trust with your brand as well, because people can see there's real people using your products and services and really benefiting from them as well. So a review goes a long way and it's a really easy video to do. OK, so the sixth idea then 
is go behind the scenes. We often think, because we live and breathe our business, we often think it's quite boring. But actually, for other people, it's really, really interesting. Because a lot of people would love to know what you do. So simple videos behind the scene work really, really well. So you could do things like what's in the box. So maybe you've got some supplies that have been delivered or some products or something like that that's been delivered. I always love to do a little video of going, ooh, guess what's in the box? What could be in the box? How exciting. Doing a little video of that. You could do behind the scenes around your offices. You could do behind the scenes if you have visitors come into your premises and customers come into your premises, do a video of what to expect so that it's not as daunting because they've never been before. They can get a feel for what the office is like, where they're coming to. So do some behind the scenes, what's happening. We could do things like behind the scenes if you manufacture or make anything, you know, behind the scenes, even someone just sat at the desk doing a bit of work, you know, this is so-and-so doing a bit of work. Okay, just really, really quite interesting. And in actual fact, one of our members from the social flock, Andrew from Wave, who does embroidery on work outfits and things like that, and did his first ever reel, video reel, and it was literally, all he did was just video one of his embroidery machines. There was no talking or anything like that. Popped that onto Facebook and within five minutes got a sale. OK, because Facebook is massively promoting videos. And if people see it in the making, it's like, oh, I'd like one of those. So think about what videos you can do behind the scenes. So they what number are we on now? Eighth, eighth, seventh, eighth, eighth idea is do a staff interview. Interview your staff if they're happy to be interviewed. Ask them what they do on a day to day basis, why they're passionate about what they did, why they got into the business. Really talk about what happens in the business, again, to help build up that trust. And it's just a really, really simple way, again, of connecting with your audience because we're showing real staff, the real people who are going to be talking to your customers. And that really does help to build up trust. So staff interviews do really, really well. So the ninth one, and I've just realized I've actually got 11 ideas today, not 10. So the ninth idea that I've got is really, really simple. And this is really simple. So most of us have got blogs on our website. So how about just doing a very quick summary to summarize your blog? By the way, did you know we've got a blog on our website about X, Y, Z? You know, if you want to, to read more, these are the areas it covers. And if you want to read more, then, you know, here's the link or visit our website, do X, Y, Z and do a nice call to action at the end. And if you haven't got a blog, you could actually just do a little review of a book maybe that you've read that would be of use to your customers. You know, review about a book that sort of thing and um, so think about reviewing a book or a blog and then doing a little call to action at the end saying read my book here or you can read that book there and it just again shows that you're an expert in your field and that you're willing to share some of that knowledge so apparently we're on eight i've completely lost count of how many we're on i think i've got 11 for you today so this was for the eighth one right okay <laughs> thank you for that <laughs> let's call this number nine then uh, so tip number nine do a q a a question and answer on your social media just do a shout out for a particular question around a particular topic area if people go through your social media Go through your client list, think about common questions that your customers ask you and do a video answering those questions. Because you can guarantee that if people are asking those questions, they're genuinely interested and other people will want to know the answers to those questions as well. So take a few of your questions and answer them on your social media. And let's face it, I do a lot of my live streams are based on questions questions that 
some of my members ask in the social flock or questions that client might ask me that's the inspiration i get for a lot of these videos so again use your customers as a source of inspiration for your videos okay so for the 10th 10th idea i think it's the 11th but we'll see you'll have to bear with me so the final one the one that i love the most the one that i had the most success with is a how to video so if you are providing products then show people how to use your products yeah how to use them in the field i talked about my special days of the year world planner and i show people how to use it how to highlight it how to write on it themselves in their pencil because it's paper based you know how to use it i also share lots of videos on how to do things so for example i shared one of my most successful videos was um how to make your photos private on facebook this video was uh, made back in 2018 it's completely out of date now i am still getting views on facebook for that i think it's up to 30, over 35,000 views um, and this was back in 2018 i'm still getting comments on that video now because it's a how-to video people are searching on the in the on the internet how to do xyz and so my videos are popping up how-to videos are phenomenal on youtube you know if you've got a youtube channel you should be doing how-to videos because it's based thickly a search engine and these days if people want the answer to something they generally google it and if you've got the answer to you know how to you know download blogs onto your website then basically you're going to come up in the searches and people are going to see your videos so really do think about how your products your services help your customers what questions they've got and do a how-to video they work phenomenally well now making these videos is easy but actually making them rank high and structuring them in the right way so that you get lots of views is a little bit trickier so i've given you lots and lots of 10 ideas but actually there is a bit of an art to making your videos show up in the search results on social media. There's also a particular structure that you need to follow in order to increase the reach of your videos and increase the number of views to your videos. So if you would like to know more tips on how to increase the reach of your videos, then I am running a webinar on Friday at 9 30 and i'm going to be running through lots and lots of tips on how to increase the reach of your videos once you've recorded them all it's definitely well worth coming along to that it's only 25 pounds as well so if you are free on friday at half nine till half ten do come along and i will teach you how to increase the reach of your videos so do join me next week whilst i'll be joined by sam blakely who is our new partner of the social flock which is really exciting so she's going to be coming along and introducing herself she's a brand expert a digital marketing expert and she's come on as a partner of the social flock which is really exciting because she's going to be sharing lots and lots of tips and ideas on digital marketing throughout the year in the social flock and if you're not a member of the social flock yet and you really want to up your social media game you need some accountability to get your social media posts written you need some inspiration on what content to write you need a bit of training throughout the year to improve your social media performance then please do come and join the social flock it's only 45 pounds a month and it's full of training tips ideas and we all come together on Zoom twice a week or once a week to actually write our posts together. So we're holding each other accountable. So if you'd like to join the social flock, there's the link. We'd love to see you there. So thanks everyone for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please do give us a thumbs up. And if you're watching it on YouTube, please do subscribe for lots more tips and advice on social media. And we'll see you again next Monday at 12.30 with our very special guest, Sam Blakely. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next week. Bye.